Scorpio and welcome to Adventures in Pixie Land. This is going to be your weekly reading going from August 8th to August 15th. This space has been cleared and these decks have been shuffled and cut with your energy in mind. So we are ready to jump in. Before we do, let's handle that busy work. Please do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell below so you will know when Scorpio content is uploaded. Scorpio content comes out every single Tuesday. If you're feeling my vibe and would like a personal read, please feel free to click on that description box below. If you're really feeling my vibe and would like to subscribe, please click on that link to my Patreon account in the description box below. Patreon subscribers get a certain number of free monthly personal readings, depending upon subscription level. Also down there, you will find all of my social media contacts. And on every single one of those social media platforms, you will get a daily astrology reading, a daily Elder Futhark Rune. Both of those are available now as videos. Um here on YouTube as well as the rest of the social media platforms as shorts here. Uh, a daily uh, Romance Angel Oracle, a daily Fairy Wisdom Oracle, a daily Starseed Oracle, and a daily Priestess of Light Oracle here put together with an energy summary here on YouTube posted every single day between 10 to 15 minutes long. Um, also down there you'll find a link to my Red Bubble store. It is full of various graphics and or phrases that I might use on this channel. Available on a variety of products. So if you're shopping for something, go take a look. Uh, so we start out on the 8th here, right? Where we have a third quarter moon, because we've had that full moon hit us on the 1st. Forgive your mistakes and bad habits. Forgiveness allows us to move forward. Use this time to forgive yourself and others. And it is in the sign of steadfast Taurus until 6.28 a.m. And then we move into the waning crescent moon, which is spending time being mindful, going with the flow and the surrendering to the divine. It's still going to be in Taurus at that time. But this is a day of cleaning up and clearing out. So your decision-making process is clear as you move forward. On the 9th, it's a very, very busy astrological day. So we can start with, we have a void of course moon at 6.39 a.m. And at 9.05 a.m., that waning crescent moon is going with that flow is gonna go into quick-witted Gemini with relationship-focused Venus retrograde in dynamic Leo, square, disruptive Uranus in foundational Taurus. Uranus in Taurus is, we should have never trusted that authority figure. Okay, and then we have Mercury, messenger Mercury, in practical Virgo, trine, Expansive Jupiter in luxury loving Taurus with practical the action taker Mars in practical Virgo square it's a 90 degree angle in the night sky trying is 120 disruptive Uranus in foundational Taurus people are going to be challenging on this day they're going to be people coming in and trying to push some buttons and what is going to happen here is that Mercury, practical Mercury, in, with Jupiter in Taurus, is people are going to want to talk. Venus in retrograde means it's hard for us to express our softer emotions at this time. And it being square to an authority figure acting in a way that we don't think they should be. I mean, that's... That's a big deal. That's what, that's what we're going to want to talk about. We're going to want to talk about those things. Information is going to come out in the middle of some kind of argument that where somebody's going to say something they never should have said. And you're going to be so in a place, we're all going to be so in a place, that we can have that information hit us right in that instant and boom, just like that. We figure out all the practical ways 
that this has been holding us up in some fashion and we can just grab it and shake it loose. It's going to be beautiful energy. I know it sounds very terrifying, but it's not. It's karma in play. And it's karmic justice coming into play. So if you've been acting exactly as you're supposed to be acting, doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing, there are no repercussions for you. You have nothing to worry about. Okay. Next day to watch out for is the 12th. Okay. We have a uh, waning crescent moon. So we're still done here being mindful with ourselves. Because the next new moon doesn't uh, doesn't come up until the 17th. That's when we have the next big astrological event is that new moon. Is it the 17th or 18th? Let me see here. Oh, no, the 16th. Okay. So the day after this, uh, this reading stops, there'll be a new moon. So, waning crescent moon in emotional cancer. Trine. It's 120 degree angle in the night sky. Saturn retrograde in dreamy Pisces. Saturn retrograde in dreamy Pisces is all about karma. Okay? Blockages are going to be cleared on this day so you can move quickly. No more holding you back. It's time for us to all move forward. We're ending karmic cycles all over the place. The next day to watch out for is the 15th. We're still in that waning crescent moon. Still supposed to be going with the flow, right? And that moon is in passionate Leo. With a self-focused sun, also in passionate Leo. But that sun is square, 100 degree, well, 100 degree, 90 degree angle. 90 degree angle in the night sky. Disruptive Uranus in foundational Taurus. Trusting that authority figure we should not have trusted. People might feel oppressive today. Same Stay calm and be rational in your response. Okay. Let's jump into the tarot. Scorpio, August 8th to the 15th. Scorpio, August 8th to the 15th. Scorpio, August 8th. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> to the 15th. What are you guys up to there? What is this? Scorpio, August 8th. It's good, though. To the 15th, Scorpio. August 8th. To the 15th, Scorpio. August 8th. To the 15th, Scorpio, August 8th, to the 15th. Okay. So, if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. I hope that this reading resonates with you. If you are a new viewer, welcome. I will clarify all these cards before I do. Past, present, near future. Someone to you, you to the someone. Balance, outcome, summary. This is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. There is no gender in tarot. You are either walking up to someone and talking, or someone is walking up to you and talking. And this whole reading is a conversation between you and at least one other person. Some cards do mean groups, like the Ten of Cups. Also on this channel, relationship is defined as a continued interaction between any two people. I am going to describe the energy. You're going to place it on that person that it sounds like, and then that is the relationship we're talking about. Queen of Cups there in your past. That's any water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Heavy on the Cancer. Also a card of Gemini. It's also a need to use one's intuition and to be, uh, you know, 
grounded and centered within that intuition, okay? Nine of Cups there, that is happiness. I mean, that's really joyous. It's not the happiest card in the deck. First the Sun card, then the Ten of Cups. But the Nine of Cups that comes in a close third. It is personal happiness. There's some sort of joy happening for you. Cancer Pisces energy there with the moon. That is a being in one's feelings. And it is also um, in being in the dark. Something not being really clear for you there in your past. But it apparently cleared up in your present moment. Sun card. That is Leo energy, so you could be interacting with a Leo. It is the happiest card in the deck, so let's just hope you're in happy energy. I'm going to hold that for you, Scorpio. We'll get more information when we clarify, but I'm just going to hope that whatever this was, everything's all better now. The full card is Aries energy. Taking a leap of faith, probably because you're so happy, or maybe because you found something out that you don't like. We're going to find out. Either way, you're doing something about it, and that's a reason to be proud. Tower card is Aries energy. That is a complete destruction. But it's a meant to be destruction. Don't be afraid of it. It is a good thing. This is blockages being removed from your life. Problems that shouldn't even be there. Things that are blessings that might actually be in, in disguise in the beginning. But don't be afraid of them. Ten of Cups. That is somebody to you. That is somebody from your friends and family unit. It again is a happy energy. Ace of Cups. Look at you being all happy back. Offering them the cup of love. I love it. Balance though. Somebody's not interested. Four of Cups. It's not so good. That's nope energy. Or maybe you find that whatever this is, you're less like, I don't think so. King of Cups. That's any water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Heavy on that Scorpio. It's also a card of Libra. It's you. What about you? Four of Swords. You need a break? Maybe you need to take a vacation. Queen of Pentacles. Any Earth sign? Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Heavy on that Capricorn. Also a card of Sagittarius. You could just be interacting with this person. You could be from at work. You could be a boss. They could be a boss. Six of Cups. That's nostalgia. It's somebody you already know. It's a soulmate connection. So maybe taking some kind of break from some earth sign or some Sagittarius that you've known a long time. Let's give you some clarification. What's this Queen of Cups in Scorpio's past? Pathway. Needing to use your intuition about the journey you're on. It's always a good idea. What's this Queen of Cups in Scorpio's past? What's this Queen of Cups in Scorpio's past? Three Cups. Okay. It's a reconciliation or some sort of friends group. Or celebration. You could have had this, uh, you could have had to set out on this path because you were feeling left out in the cold. So you walked off on your own. And... Three cups, maybe from a friends group, then maybe that's who made you feel isolated for some of you, but for others, there was a celebration because you founded this new path and it was the one you're supposed to be in. What's this nine of cups? Okay, so this could be at work. What's this nine of cups? 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 Nine of Pentacles. Any Earth sign? Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I'm sorry. Any uh, any Fire sign? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And uh, heavy on the Sagittarius. Also, card of Scorpio. What's your energy? Four of Pentacles. You might have been holding on to something, maybe at work, because uh, divine timing was at play here. But whatever this was that you were either holding on to. Or, you know, rushing towards. I mean, I would normally, this could also be blockage, but it doesn't feel like it because you're rushing towards something. You rush forward to put in some sort of work towards your happiness here. What's this moon card? In the dark here, or maybe you were interacting with a Cancer or a Pisces. What's this moon card? There's something at work that was hidden from you. way too many cards. What's this moon card? 
What's this moon card? Something you were trying to be patient with in that work environment. Something you were talking about. Queen of Wands. Any fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. How many of that Aries? Also a card of Libra and Pisces. And this is Pisces, Cancer, Energy. It feels like really just something you were in the in the dark about or something that's unclear. It's something you were trying to be patient with that you were talking about. Possibly with a fire sign. Could just be an authority figure of some kind, though. Where something was unclear. It's like, it feels like somebody was deliberately trying to confuse you. What's this sun card about in Scorpio's present moment? Judication? That's your energy. That's like getting the judgment card in this deck. What's this sun card about? What's the sun card about? Queen of Cups. Six of Cups. Somebody you've been dealing with a long time. Possibly whoever that Queen of Cups was in the past if you don't feel like that resonates with you. Any water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Heavy on the Cancer. Also a card of Gemini. Uh, Knight of Pentacles. Any earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Heavy on the Virgo. Also card of Leo. Leo energy there with the sun. Your own energy there. It feels like you were illuminated about by somebody, possibly, or using your intuition about somebody you've known a really long time that has you moving forward. Could be an earth sign, could be a Leo. What's this fool card? House? Taking a leap of faith. You could be moving, maybe. What's this fool card? The star. The ace of cups. What's this fool card? Magician. That's a Gemini Virgo energy. Fool card is Aries energy. Aquarius energy there with the star. So some sort of offer coming in that you've been manifesting that would give you some sort of a uh, bigger level of security. It's a wish fulfillment. Something you've been trying to manifest. It's gonna come into you. Something that might make you feel more stable. It's a leap of faith you should be taking. What's this tower card? Main female. Okay, if you are a Scorpio and you identify as feminine, uh, then this is you. Because there is no other main female in your life then. You are the main feminine in your life. If, however, you do not identify as feminine, then this is the other person. Or another person. What's this tower card? What's this tower card? What's this tower card? Oh, that's a good thing, Scorpio. What's this tower card? Nope, you only need one, please. What's this tower card? King of Cups. So, so that's your energy. It's your tower. There's um. So even you know, regardless of what gender you associate with, there was something that was out of balance. Six of Pentacles. See how he's weighing and judging. See the scales right there. This person gets two coins. That one gets three. I'm keeping one for myself. If it were about equality, they would all get two. If it were about equity, these two would get three. There were some upset here right something where it wasn't financially right possibly wasn't even wasn't fair and some sort of commitment that you were in that is a name but I think it's because you manifested something else instead what's this ten of cups okay somebody doesn't like this what's this ten of cups what's this ten of cups Page of Cups. What's this Ten of Cups? Four of Swords. What's this Ten of Cups? Judgment. That's Scorpio energy. Somebody made a choice here. 
somebody's feeling left out in the cold, probably because of that tower moment. There's some sort of break, four swords, so this is going to be this person over here. Uh, they want to apologize. They're making a choice to apologize to. Maybe apologize to you while they're taking a break. But they feel left out in the cold, I think, be so because of the break, the four of swords there. What's this ace of cups? Sun well. Okay, this is good news for you. What's this ace of cups? This feels a little bit like your good news is somebody's bad. What is this Ace of Cups? What is this Ace of Cups? Pisces energy there, that Knight of Pentacles. It's also a card of Aquarius. Leo energy with the Strength card. It doesn't really matter. It's in the U position. So some sort of communication could be coming into you. That's a, a lot of good news. That you know could be from a Leo. Or an Aquarius, another water sign, maybe even another Scorpio. You know, you're going to have to take your your pick there. Uh, but it's going to bring you victory. You're going to have some sort of victory here. What's this Four of Cups? So why are you in your balance in this nope energy? Oh, you're saying no to some bullshittery. I love it. What's this Four of Cups? <laughs> okay, we'll take all those. Oh, I see. Yeah. There was some sort of betrayal here, right? Some sort of lying, stealing, cheating, manipulating, some sort of thievery, right? The, that uh, you needed to get this higher perspective on so you could bring about your tower, your full moment. Because of these two things, these choices that you make there, they are the reason that you're not interested. They're the reason that you're moving into calmer waters. This person might be coming in to apologize to you, but it might be too late and you've moved on. What's this King of Cups? That's great, Scorpio. I love it. Okay, so commitment. What's this for uh, King? What's oh, sorry? What's this King of Cups? What's this King of Cups? Yes, setting down burdens. Nice. What's this King of Cups? Yeah. Huh? Knight of Pentacles. Any Earth sign? Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Heavy on the Taurus. Also card of Aries. Feels like some other offer, some kind of other commitment is coming in here to you. And with that commitment, with this offer, with this commitment, could be for marriage, doesn't have to be, could be another job, that kind of thing. And because this kings can totally be authority figures, or it could be some, you know, from somebody else that you consider your equal. It's gonna set down burdens for you. Ten of Wands. What's this four swords? Community. Yeah, taking a break, maybe changing jobs. What you up to here? What's this four swords? What's this Four of Swords? What's this Four of Swords? Okay. I would look up the angel number 22. Two of Wands, Two of Pentacles. Taking a break. That Four of Swords could be from this, from work, could be going on a vacation. You could be standing at this crossroads because maybe you felt like you were juggled within a commitment, possibly by a Taurus, but it doesn't have to be. Higher education, higher learning. It's a card of the divine. So you felt like you were you were juggled, maybe by something you were committed to, like maybe by work or something, and you just made this uh, choice to take some sort of break. What's this Queen of Pentacles? I mean, it could be by uh, you know a lover. You could have been juggled by a lover, in which case they're a jerk. Let's look at the Queen of Cups. What's this Queen of Pentacles? What's this Queen of Pentacles? What's this Queen of Pentacles? Huh, in reverse. Cancer energy there with the chariot. Aries energy with the emperor. Uh, this is like in the Queen of Cups, any water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I mean, in that Cancer, also a card of Gemini. Queen of Pentacles, any earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Have me on that Capricorn. Also a card of Sagittarius. So this could be a group you were dealing with that you don't want to deal with anymore because the chariot's in reverse and that's why there's sadness here. You could be walking away. Setting down those burdens. What's this Six of Cups? 
Thoughts? What's the Six of Cups? What's the Six of Cups? What's the Six of Cups? Okay. Sagittarius energy with the temperance. Leo energy with the sun. Something that you find out, that you've been thinking about, about somebody you've known for a really long time. Because remember, these cards clarify the, that card. And this is all in the you energy. Has you feeling a little defensive? And you're trying to sort it out in your brains. You're trying to find balance. Let's get some advice. Advice for Scorpio. August 8th to the 15th. Advice for Scorpio, August 8th to the 15th. Advice for Scorpio, August 8th to the 15th. Huh. <laughs> okay. Ja Cancer energy there with the chariot. Gemini energy with the lovers. Your advice is to run. Run towards this offer, towards this Ace of Pentacles. Run. Do not stop. Go. Run. Run right towards it. Choose it. Choose yourself. Choose to love yourself, love yourself enough to run right towards this offer. Somebody's coming up here in this thief energy and all this, this with this betrayal, that cut and run, cut and run. If you have a yes or no question you would like answered, this is the time to think it because this is the deck that does it. I'm going to pull three cards. This is your chance to pause the video to think of one to three yes or no questions you would like answered. Message for Scorpio. Choose the new direction, that's no. Message for Scorpio. <laughs> no. Message for Scorpio. Communicate clearly, that's a yes. So no, no, and yes. Advice for Scorpio, August 8th to the 15th. Your hard work is paying off, new moon in Capricorn. It's time to take action, new moon in Aries. Advice for Scorpio, August 8th to the 15th. Prosperity lies ahead, new moon in Taurus. All right. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck. Adjustments are required, third quarter moon. You are very close to achieving your goal, Gibbous Moon. Your dreams need a practical plan, Full Moon and Taurus. What do you need to release, Waning Moon? Okay, so you've got things you need to wrap up. You need that tower moment to come. It's a blessing. Do not fight it. Do not be afraid. Message for Scorpio. Elemental magic. We fairies are the elements, as are you. Connect with the earth, the air, the water, and the fire this day. And feel the fifth element, spirit. Ignite the natural magic within. Isn't that beautiful energy? Get yourself out into the world. Interact with nature. Touch the things. I hope that helps, Scorpio, because it's what I have for you. And just remember, as you go about the world this week, you are a child of the universe. No less than the trees and the stars. And you have a right to be here.